Welcome to our online class organized by the authority of Dr. Khastugir Government Girls High School. Today, I am with you, Tauhida Armana, senior teacher, Dr. Khastugir Government Girls High School, Chattogram. My class is for the students of class six and today I will take class on English for today. Here is the picture of our your EFT book. How are you dear learners? Hope all of you are doing well. I am also fine by the grace of almighty Allah. Let's begin our class. Look at the picture. Who is he? Do you know him? He is a very prominent figure and very familiar person also. All of you know him very much. Yes, he is Bongo Bundhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. In our previous class, we had learned about Bongo Bundhu's childhood memories. Uh, at that lesson, we had learned about our about uh, his childhood events. His name, full name is Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. He is the father of Bangladesh. He was born on uh, 17 March 1920 in, in a small village, Tungipara, uh, green village. You can say green, small village, Tungipara under Gopalganj district. Uh, the villagers of that uh, village, Tungipara, were fun loving, friendly people. Bangabundu's parents were uh, Lut Lutfur Rahman and Saira Khatun. In uh, his village, uh, Sheikh family was a very renowned, powerful family. And uh, Sheikh Borhanuddin was the founder of that family. Uh, Sheikh were in fact landlords of that area. Sheikh Kudratullah and Sheikh Ekramullah were the descendants who uh, used not to count their wealth but to weigh it. Um, as a descendant, Bangabundhu possessed their spirit and tradition. Bangabundhu, as a child, was very sportive and hard to love. Uh, he had loved to play. Uh, uh, football. He loved to play in the local roads, uh, dive in the river. He loved to take shower in the rain and look for bird's nest, bird's nest with his friends. Um, he also uh, very much fond of uh, keeping pet animals. As he was a sickly boy, his grandma wanted him to eat rich food, but he loved typical Bengali foods, especially uh, uh, rice will, with milk and banana. He was very much uh, uh, loving and uh, lovingly uh, loving and cared by his siblings. He was called or uh, he was addressed as Mia Bhai by the villagers and uh, the family members, senior family members used to call him uh, Koka. He was very much a loving child of his parents. So here I have shortly described uh, the main um, uh, main uh, lesson of that topic. Okay, main core of that topic. Now, today we will going to learn about Mujib in school days. Mujib school days. Okay, our today's topic is Mujib in school days. You will get it in your EFT book in lesson number 13, page 42 to 44. So dear learners, take your EFT book in front of you and necessary your uh, exercise copy, your pen and necessary things in front of you, okay? learning outcomes after completing this lesson you will be able to read and understand text answer questions after reading the text 
use you could be able to use new vocabulary uh, and you will be able to participate in group discussion okay open at page number 42 here is a picture here is a black and white picture here you can see the picture here uh, look at the picture and discuss the following questions can you guess who they are in the picture can you tell me <clears throat> we can see some people uh, who are standing while some are sitting in the front in the middle row there are a few people they are wearing um, suits okay uh, who are they can you tell me who are they in the middle row who are they they suppose they are the teacher or coach and who is bangobondhu in the picture bangobondhu uh um, the third student from the left of the front row the third student from the left of the front row is bangobondhu who are they they are uh, wearing same jerseys they are uh, the um, uh, playmates of bangobondhu they are suppose they are team members of bangobondhu okay there is a trophy in front of them uh, there is a trophy in front of them suppose they had won a match okay what do you know about bangobondhu sheikh mujibur rahman i have already discussed about this topic bangobondhu is the father of our nation he was born on 17 march 1920 at tungipara in gopalganj his parents were sheikh lutfur rahman and saira khatun um, he was a, a very cheerful boy in his childhood villagers used to call him mia bhai and the senior family members addressed him as khoka uh, he had several pastime activities including diving in the river getting drenched in the rain searching for bird's nest and keeping pets okay let's move to our next slide here is section b read the text silently and quickly to answer what the text is about here dear students i am reading out the text loudly you have to read the text silently with me in his early childhood our father of the nation bangobondhu sheikh mujibur rahman started his education in his village school named me school this school was established by one of his family ancestors and it was the only english school of that area he spent first three grades there then he went to gopalganj town to stay with his father and got enrolled at gopalganj public school in grade 4 mujib was so dear to his father little mujib could not sleep at night without his father's affectionate touch as a kid he was the eldest in his family and among his cousins so he was adored by all in his little age mujib was a very cheerful boy not at all timid he was greatly interested in playing games and singing he was good at brotochari which was a kind of folk dance he loved to play football volleyball and hockey with his friends he was considered an important player in his school team because of his father's transfer in job mujib had to get enrolled at madaripur high school in 1936 at that time he started facing a serious eye problem he needed surgery to recover his eyesight his study and schooling were hampered for a long time spectacles became his companion since he was 16 he resumed his education at gopalganj mission school in 1937 Bangobondhu's father appointed Mr Kaji Abdul Hamid as a house tutor for Mujib. Mr Hamid was a social worker and ran a welfare association named Muslim Seva Samiti. He tried to help the poor boys. He used to collect arms from others for helpless students. It is it inspired young Mujib so much that he became a part of that activity. every sunday they set out for this 
purpose, his teacher used the money collected thus to buy books and other essential things or pay tuition fees for the poor students. After the sudden demise of Mr. Hamid, young Sheikh Mujib carried on the charity following his teacher. Adapted from Oshomapto Atto Jiboni, the autobiography of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. This text is adapted from his book Oshomapto Atto Jiboni. Okay, come to section C. What is the instruction here? Read the text again. Column A has some words from the text, the meaning of which are given in column B. Match them. The first one is done for you. When you have finished matching them, make sentences with them relating to your life. Learners, look here. Here is column A. There are some words here and there are the meaning of these words here in column B. You have to match the meaning of these words from here. Okay. One is done for you. Our first word is ancestor. Uh, the meaning of ancestor is forefather. Our next word is establish. It means set up. Our third word is hamper. What is the meaning of hamper? It means obstacle. Cheerful means jaunty. Demise means death. Timid means nervous. Charity means help. Okay. I think uh, you could do it very much easily. Okay. Now, what you have to do? You have to make sentences with the words. I have made sentences for you. Look at the sentences that I have made for you. Our first word is ancestor and the sentence is, my ancestors were well known. Businessman. Number two, establish. Dr. Kastubi's school was established in 1907. Number three, the sentence is with hamper. This bad weather is definitely going to hamper our trip to Cox's Bazaar. Number four, cheerful. The sentence is, I could not forget the cheerful memories of my school days. Number five, the word is demise. With demise, here, here I have made a sentence. My grandfather left no property for his sons at the time of his demise. Number six, timid. I am always timid about taking action in a crisis, but not my brother. Number seven, charity. This month, my father donates half of his salary to his favorite charity. Dear students, I have made these sentences according to my choice, but you have to make other new sentences with using by using these words relating to your life, okay? You have to do this and write down the sentences in your copy. Here is section D. The following questions are based on the reading text on Bangabundhu above. Find out the answers to these questions from your reading of the text. Here are the questions for you. What you have to do, you have to, at first you have to uh, read the questions, then you have to go to uh, section uh, B, read the text again very carefully and attentively, and you have to try to find out the answer of these questions. Our first question is, how many schools have been mentioned in the text? What are those? Number two, what fun activities did Mujib love to do? Number three, why was Mujib's schooling hampered for a long time? Number four, how did Mujib's tutor Kaji Abdul Hamid influence him? And number five, do you have any similar choice of activities like Muji, young Mujib that you enjoy a lot? Let's see, I have made the answer for you, but the answer could be different. 
Let's match the answer with me. Our first question is, how many schools have been mentioned in the text? What are they? Four schools have been mentioned in the text. Those are ME school, Gopal Ganj, uh, IME school, Gopal Ganj public school, Madaripur high school, and Gopal Ganj mission school. Our second question is, what fun activities did Mujib love to do? The answer is here. Mujib was a very cheerful boy from his childhood. He was greatly interested in playing grains and singing. He was good at brathachari, which was a kind of folk dance. He loved to play football, volleyball, and hockey with his friends. Okay, now come to question number three. Why was Mujib's schooling hampered for a long time? Let's see the answer. Mujib started to face a serious eye problem when he had to get enrolled in Madaripur High School in 1936. That's why he needed to undergo a surgery to recover his eyesight. Because of that, his study and schooling were hampered for a long time. Number four, what is the question? Uh, the question is, how did Mujib's tutor, Kaji Abdul Hamid, influence him? Bongobundhu's father appointed Mr. Kaji Abdul Hamid as a house tutor for Mujib. Mr. Hamid was a social worker and ran a welfare association named Muslim Sheba Shomiti. He tried to help the poor students by collecting arms from others. It impressed young Mujib so much that he became a part of that activity. Okay, our last question is, do you have any similar choice of activities like young Mujib that you enjoy a lot? This question will be different. Okay, here I have prepared my uh, answer according to my test. Here is the answer, yes. Mujib used to love playing football, volleyball, hockey. I also love playing those games. I also used to love singing. Uh, he also used to love singing and I also love it. Okay. These are the answer of five questions in section D. Now move to section E. Here is the instruction, read the multiple choice questions. Each question has one correct answer. Put a tick mark beside each of them. Number one, how was Bangabundhu during his childhood? Gentle, lazy, lively, shy. You know that Bangabundhu was a very cheerful uh, boy in his childhood. So the answer will be C, lively. Number two, what type of activity is Brathachari? Playing, singing, dancing, reading. We know that it is a dancing activity, okay? Then, and number three, why did Mujib follow his house tutor? To help himself, to help the disabled persons, to help his school, to help the unfortunate students uh, um, what do you think you know that his uh, uh, house tutor mr abdul hamid uh, uh, was a social worker and he used to he he tried to help the uh, poor students by collecting arms from others by those uh, money he used to give their uh, uh, used to uh, buy them their books or give them their uh, tuition fees okay so our answer will be number d to help the unfortunate students four number question when did mujib take the responsibility of helping the poor students alone after his tutor died after his leader died, after his father died, after his friend died. 
Okay, the answer will be after his tutor died. Mujib was very much impressed by his by the charity work of his teacher Abdul Hamid, and he took the responsibility of helping the poor students after the death of his tutor. Okay. Now come to section F. Work in groups. Write five sentences on what you have learned from Bangabandhu's childhood memories. Here, as uh, you are at home in this COVID situation, so it is not possible for you to do group work. You have to do it individually. You have to take your copy and you have to write down five sentences relating to Bangabandhu's childhood memories. I have already discussed a lot about this. Uh, I'm now, I am uh, now, although I have discussed this, I am uh, describing shortly about this uh, section to help you. What is the text mainly about? It is about uh, Bangabandhu's schooling, isn't it? He uh, began his education at a school, uh, which is an English school in his village established by his ancestors. Uh, he was a very cheerful boy and he was very adorable to his family members. And he was very uh, adorable to his family members. He was highly interested in playing games and singing. Uh, um, because of his eye problem, uh, he had to go undergo a surgery. After that, spectacles became his, his constant companion since he was 16. Young Muji was so influenced by his teacher, tutor, Mr. Abdul Hamid, that he carried on the charity work after the death of his tutor, okay? I have described it shortly. You have to write down five sentences about Bangabandhu's childhood memories in your copy. Now come to section G. What is this? You have read Bangabandhu's childhood days. Now write about your own childhood days. Include the following points, then talk to share your memory in a group. This is also a group work, but you have to do it individually at your home. What are the questions here? Let's see. What memories do you have with your parents? How were you three or four years ago? How did you spend your free time then? Did you have a personal hero in your primary school? How did he or she influence your life? What memories do you have with your parents? You have, I think all of you have very nice memories, fine memories, enjoyable memories with your parents. Uh, you can write like this. You can uh, write like, uh, you, can, uh, you can say that you started your education in a missionary school. Uh, at that time, uh, at, um, you were at before three or four years ago, you were very kind, gentle and uh, calm. Uh, um, then how did you spend your free time then? You could write like this. Uh, your, uh, you like to collect stamps or you like to um, do gardening or uh, read storybooks or play any kind of games such as volleyball or badminton or any kind of games uh, used to you used to play those games or do those kind of activities in your free time. Did you have a personal hero in your primary school? You could be a hero or not. If you uh, have a hero, you could, you could write the answer. Uh, yes, I have a personal hero in my primary school or you, if you don't have any personal hero in your uh, uh, primary school, you can write like, I did not have a personal hero in my childhood. If you have a personal hero, you can write that. I have a personal hero. Uh, I had a personal hero in my primary school. He 
she was my bengali teacher mrs uh, salma uh, she seemed to be an ideal person to me i tried to follow her in speech uh, i like the way she talked i like the way she helped the other students i like the way she behaved uh, inspiring from him i i in my uh, in childhood i thought to be a teacher like him like her in future okay you could write like this your answer will be different because everyone's liking is not the same okay here i have completed the text dear students i am at the end of my lesson now i would like to give you thank you for watching my class dear students stay at home stay safe uh if you have to go outside for any reason of course of course you have to wear mask covering your nose and face because this is a very critical situation we are passing a very critical situation now okay goodbye see you next in my class assalamu alaikum and allah hafiz